Welcome to the most intense internet video you'll ever see. I'm not even joking. This is an Australian Shepherd. Her name is Secret and she's a Jenga ninja. Look at the concentration on her face as she slowly slides a brick out and she doesn't even celebrate. That's how composed she is. She just puts it down and says, fucking bring it on. It's your turn. Her owner has an advantage. She has hands, opposable thumbs. Yeah, no worries. It's no secret to secret. She is an underdog. However, her teeth have precision. It's maybe her nose that could let her down. Oh, oh, I can't watch. I'd prefer to see the human centipede for a second time. Come on. Yes, she's got it. Fantastic stuff. She says back over to you, boss. Go ahead. Use your dodgy, nimble, fancy hands. See if I bloody care. Yep. The human is using all of the weapons available to her. Secret is studying the tower. This is usually the point where I fuck up. Well, it depends if I'm sober, but usually I don't get past this point. Let's see if a dog can. She's chosen her block. Her teeth are locked on. She really has to be decisive. The sheer force of removing her teeth could lead to a demolition. Has she chosen her Jenga block wisely? There's no turning back. Secret is committed. Her tongue is falling out the side of her mouth, but she needs to go for it. Yes! Fuck yes! She gets a pat! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, even Jon Snow's direwolf would be fucking jealous of that head scratch. What's happening in the bush today? There's a drunk person with a camera. Oh, there we go. A leopard is munching on a baby honey badger. The leopard can suddenly hear someone. <laughs> It's the kid's fucking mum. She's yelling, you better run away, punk. You thought you could take a bite out of my baby and get away with it? Bloody jog on. The leopard yells, you should have arranged a babysitter. Hey, say that shit again. Say it again, punk. I left the house for two goddamn seconds to put the bins out. I don't need a babysitter. Shut up, let mummy trash talk. I was putting the bins out and you just let yourself in for a party. Yeah, well, your home security fucking sucks. How's this for security? Ugh, I sit on my child. It's an easy, cost-effective safety strategy. Mom, stop shooting on me. Shh. Plus, I like to give my kids space. I don't enjoy badgering them. Unlike you leopard parents. Bloody helicopter parents, the lot of ya. I lost me appetite, this bitch is nuts. Yeah, well, maybe I am. Jog on, dickwad. Meanwhile, over at the men's soccer, similar looking level of pain here. Eight out of ten on the threshold. Neymar is rooted. I'd be keen to have a look at how the injury occurred. The opposition bends over and picks the ball up in his general vicinity. Wowee. This is the most graphic moment I've ever seen in sport. He apologises for being so violent and the game is poor. They need to bring out a GP, a physio, a surgeon, a fucking witch doctor. Holy shit. People pay money to go watch this. How does that feel? Oh, so fantastic. Oh, good. Yeah, you've got a magic touch. That's good to hear. You've got talent. You could open a shop. Oh, it's very nice of you. Seriously, you need to open a shop. Yeah, not a, not a problem. Me and my mates are so under-massaged. I can do other areas. Mm. If you want, I can do the back, mm -hmm. I can do the legs, I can do the paws, mm. I can do the ears. Nah, just my neck. All right, you're a neck guy. I understand. It's good to know what you like. I can do other things for you. Get fucked. Like what? Well, I can give you a bath. Oh, wow, I love baths. I can give you a haircut. Really? A haircut? I could cook. Oh, that's that's amazing. I can drive you places. I actually did Uber mm. for a while between jobs. You know what? That's good to know, but I reckon just shut the fuck up and focus on my neck. Okay, okay. How you going, everyone? Here's me face. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Click the link in the post description below, nordvpn.com slash Man and use the code AUSSIEMAN to get 70% off a three-year deal. That makes it $3.50 a month for NordVPN. But why, Aussie Man? Why do I need a virtual private network? Well, because of the fucking coronavirus pandemic, you're probably working from home a lot more than usual. So just say to your boss, Oi, we need good cyber security because my next door neighbor is a wanker and he's always trying to hack me. Aussie Man can hook us up. Just chuck us the company card. Bam! It's a company cost. No, seriously, I do find it a very, very efficient app to use on the phone, on the desktop. It's easy to navigate. It's super fast. There's thousands of servers and it's highly encrypted. So check it out, nordvpn.com slash Aussie Man and use the code Aussie Man to get your big discount, all right? Cheers, everyone. Stay safe out there. Back to the videos. 
Welcome back to today's video where we are studying the sexual appetite of the domestic Jack Russell. Little known fact, these dogs are very polite lovers. They take turns, they share, and they're open to experimentation in the bedroom, or the backyard in this case. Yeah, they're top-notch communicators. Damien is in the middle, he's like, pump me hard from behind, Kev. And Regina, yeah, whack your vagina in my face. That's great. Kev was just saying, don't worry guys, I'll keep humping the air while you do your thing, I'm good. Honestly, I reckon Damien and Regina have already blown their loads. They don't want to be rude to Kev because he's just been through a breakup, so they've found second wind. They're like, come on buddy, get back in here, don't tug your dick alone. There he goes. He's like, okay, I'll lick this and I'll kiss you, I'll traverse back around here and assume the position. Yeah, now he's getting confident. Go Kev, go for gold mate, pump it, pump it hard. Don't get tired, no, ah, oh, you see, he's Slow down, it's the Regina and Damien show. Kev's left pounding and spanking thin air again. These two aren't as polite as I thought. They're metaphorically kissing each other's asses as well as literally. Yeah, that's great. Oh, you're so good at this. No, you are. You want to swap? Yeah, let's do a swapsies. The things you do with your tongue are incredible. You make doggy style feel fresh. Mwah. Ah, oh, Kev has officially become the creepy guy in the orgy that just sits there and watches. It's a brutal downfall. Oh, hang on, he runs in and they all link together like connector pens. He's had a burst of climax determination and it looks like there's gonna be a happy ending for everyone, which is what we like here at Aussie Man Reviews. Anyway, what the actual fuck am I doing? I have a human life to live, we all have lives to live, let's get off the internet and go live them. Yeah, this is weird. Yes, we've commandeered a ship. Now it's time to hit the high seas. Let's go find some treasure. How are you going back there, Julian? Don't fucking call me that. My name is Phantom Feathersword. Oh, that's good. Call me Captain Murderbeard. Oi, Phantom Feathersword, can you climb up to the crow's nest and look out for danger? No, that's a bullshit job. Do what I say, mate. I'm comfortable at the back. I know you are, but it's not about that. It's about the safety of the crew. What crew? We don't have a fucking crew. Ugh, quit arguing. I think I should be in charge. Oh, get fucked. Don't start a mutiny. I stumbled upon the treasure map. I'm in charge. Those are the rules of being a pirate. You didn't stumble upon it. You murdered everyone. You need to settle down. What are you gonna do? You're gonna make me walk the plank? We don't even have a plank on this shitty boat. And I'm pretty sure we're sinking. Yeah, we are. Here we have Shrek getting ready to do an agility course. He's very focused. He is off and racing. Look at that speed. He's faster than a McLaren over one hurdle. He approaches a tunnel, smashes that over a second hurdle, a third hurdle. Here comes another tunnel. Vroom! Fucking no worries. He is kicking it in the dick. As we know, ogres were only recently accepted into these agility courses. They have been very dog focused for a long time. Shrek had to fight for his rights. His trainer had to fight for him and I'm glad they did because he is putting in a mighty performance. He has worked really, really hard since the breakup with Princess Fiona. Look at that. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Nimble as fuck. Wowee. The fat bastard's done it. Welcome to the Outback. Here we have a young lady stuck in a baby swing. She's clearly in a lot of distress. The fire department has showed up. Someone has classified this as an emergency. The chief is like, okie dokie, I'm not going to ask any questions. We'll just get started. Over here is the fittest bloke, Jim. I'd like him to do most of the heavy lifting. Jimbo hasn't done any stretches or warming up, but he's tough as fuck. And he lifts the girl up, no worries. The guy in the hat is jiggling the swing. It's a basic strategy to try out first. She's smiling for her fans. She knows this is quality content and she definitely has fans. Everyone has fans these days, not friends. A crowd is gathering. It's always great to have free entertainment in the local park. Usually my local park just puts on a Christmas party. I reckon I'd prefer shows like this. What the fuck is she doing? It's incredible, isn't it? You put so much work into raising a child, feeding them, clothing them, teaching them the alphabet, geography, history, driving lessons, and then they go out and do shit like this. No matter what you do as a parent, 
natural selection is still a very powerful force. The bloody chief is getting involved again. Hat guy is fed up with the jiggling strategy, so it's time to switch to the heavy artillery. The bolt cutters are in the house. I don't think the swing is gonna survive. Jimbo cuts the chain with precision. That's quite a big reaction. It's like the swing had become one of her limbs. It affected her when it got severed. Chief is like, off you go, our work here is done. Go on, go back to school. She's not satisfied with this level of service though, and she wants to be carried around. The firemen are like Hodor in Game of Thrones. Oh, look at that. There's an atomic wedgie. The swing is right up there. I reckon shit was more comfortable a few minutes ago. They're asking her to live on this bench. Just lay here, we'll tuck you in. Your parents can bring food weekly. Oh, now there we go. We are in the final phase of this operation. She's free. She's free to roam around parks and shopping centres and nightclubs, wherever teenage girls go. There's a photo with the crew. Good memories. We end the video with a victory dance and a nice goodbye wave. Yeah, now nah, overall this video reminds me of that time a kitten was stuck in a pipe. That was a very similar situation. Emergency services were involved. Or the goat on a power line. Remember that one? It required a ladder, rope, no bolt cutters, but yeah, very similar. However the kitten, the goat, the teenage girl got stuck doesn't really matter. I think it's important to show compassion and no judgment. Hashtag, yeah, nah, no judgment. Hey guys, you guys, have you seen the humans? Any humans? I can't seem to find any of them. They've all gone. They've disappeared. They just packed up and left and haven't come into work today. Fish. Oi, fish, have you seen a human? I need someone to fucking feed me. I'm hungry. Sorry, I panicked. I shouldn't be panicking. I need to stay calm. What are you doing? Are you are you guys, do you have any toilet paper or nah? Nope. Venice, Italy, where a big fuck-off cruise ship is having trouble parking. The first mate of the smaller boat is shouting, This is a bloody loading bay. It's a loading bay for tiny vessels only. Piss off. Look at this desperate fella jumping off the gangplank. I'm sure that looked way cooler in his head. On the outside, it looks like a poorly executed quick time event in a video game. The Sheila coming up on the left is in no hurry whatsoever. She's looking for a fucking gelato stand. Oh, there we go. She does value her life. Imagine what the captain is saying to the passengers. He's like, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to beautiful sunny Venice, where you can feast on a wide variety of seafood and Italian delights. Also, ignore the deafening fucking horn and bone crunching sound of metal being torn asunder. Those are normal noises when parking a big boat. The captain of the smaller boat is calling his panel beater. He's like, hey Sergio, I'm being crushed by a Godzilla-sized wanker. Can you fit me in this afternoon to fix a bunch of dents? All of a sudden, the cameraman remembers he too is human and prone to being squished, so starts running away. He's kind of going towards the danger. Obviously, he's a fan of the movie Prometheus and thinks that running in front of an impending disaster is the way to go. <laughs> I can't talk. I'd probably do the same. As long as you're running somewhere, it's a sign of having a healthy survival instinct. Oh, the ship appears to be stopping and chucks on the hazard lights. The passengers have slowed down. They're keen as mustard to still go on their holiday. They're checking their watches, wondering if they'll be able to get on the boat in time for happy hour. Yeah, now nah, a shot of absinthe is definitely in order followed by a glass of water, a mid-strength beer, a cocktail, a fucking pizza, a glass of Pinot Noir, another fucking shot, more water, and a refreshing nap. 